Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 28th of March. Unsettled weather this weekend. Even as I do this update this morning, we have thunder rumbling outside and weather this week stays pretty active. Hey, must be springtime in Alabama. Now let's look at some of the sky cam shots. Got some big pre-dawn storms and a cool, stable air mass. So at least no tornado threats early this morning. The main issue is hail. That's the uh, Jasper sky cam when they had some pretty wild weather Saturday night there. There's the Coleman sky cam. That's looking uh, back toward downtown Cullman from the uh, sky cam on top of the water treatment plant just east of Cullman on US 278. And in Inverness, yeah, it's raining out there in Highway 280. Hopefully uh, the bulk of the heavy rain will be gone by 7 o'clock or so, but uh, still pretty good rain out there. There's the uh, water vapor satellite view across the southeastern states. You can see that short wave kicking off this, this last batch of uh, storms over north Alabama. And look at the big blow-up down there around Tampa Bay in Florida. And that's where they have uh, uh, unstable air down there. So uh, the threat goes beyond hail. And, yeah, it's cool. Look at those numbers. 42 in Haleyville, 46 for Coleman and Gadsden. Uh, Birmingham sitting at 50. And we were in the cool air all day yesterday. But way down south, it's warmer. Montgomery sitting at 61. And there's the radar at 510. Uh, had a few severe thunderstorm warnings uh, during the pre-dawn hours for hail, and uh, the bag, uh, big batch of storms is passing through uh, Birmingham and Gadsden, and that'll be dropping south. Rain will be ending pretty quickly this morning, and uh, we think the sky becomes partly sunny this afternoon for a, a break in the rain temporarily. And really, around the nation, uh, we have no significant uh, watch or watches or warnings, just a few scattered winter weather issues, including the mountains, of uh, North Carolina for snow. How about that here in late March? Uh, but, of course, it's to the convective outlooks we pay close attention to this time of the year. This is the day one outlook, uh, valid uh, through 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Slight risk over parts of Oklahoma with this new uh, trough coming in and uh, the low-end risks on the uh, Gulf Coast and down over the Florida Peninsula. Tomorrow, this is Tuesday, and this goes through uh, technically Wednesday morning at 7 a.m., there is the standard slight risk of severe weather for all of Louisiana, uh, parts of East Texas, central and south Mississippi, and southwest Alabama, basically from Demopolis down to Mobile. And, uh, and then on Wednesday, there is no formal risk, just the low-end 5% probabilities over the southern part of the state. And again, it'll be a deal where we'll probably see some, you know, pretty decent thunderstorms uh, in the pre-dawn hours Wednesday into Wednesday morning. But the instability values are very much in question, so we'll see. But again, hopefully that means no tornado issues this time. And then on day four, which is uh, Thursday, got a risk over central and south Florida. Here's the QPF chart. Rain for the next five days, valid through Friday evening at 7 o'clock. Uh, one good thing about this, uh, it'll help to clean the air up a little bit and get rid of some of the pollen. Uh, this is suggesting rain amounts of uh, one to two inches for much of the state. We'll check the modeling. This is the OZGFS at noon today. Got the westerly flow aloft, and down below that, the uh, uh, batch of storms that we are experiencing this morning should be well to the east. And again, we think the uh, sun might peak out a time or two this afternoon. And in terms of uh, temperatures, you know, it's been pretty cool here. Uh, we're expecting a high today, maybe in the uh, mid-60s, low to mid-60s. That's below average. We should be at 70 this time of the year. Uh, tomorrow, you can see that new uh, short wave off to the west and down below that. Uh, look at the snow over Kansas. And uh, showers and storms begin to break out over Texas and Oklahoma. And again, those could be strong to severe at some point uh, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. There's tomorrow night at uh, a little after midnight. And you can see the activity beginning to ease on in here. Much of the day tomorrow should be dry. I guess there could be a shower that breaks out tomorrow afternoon. The, the, the models have had a hard time resolving this active pattern. We'll probably mention the chance of a shower tomorrow afternoon. A better chance of showers and storms late tomorrow night. And again, those could be strong to severe west of the state and then Wednesday, that surface low is moving on to the east, and we'll still have rain and storms, especially during the morning. 
and the stronger storms will probably be down south. There's the instability on Wednesday, and there is no surface-based instability north of Montgomery, and the better values are way down south. So, again, there could be some strong storms, maybe severe storms on Wednesday, uh, late tomorrow night and Wednesday, but clearly the better threat would be down over the southern half of the state. Thursday, look at the trough forming over the eastern U.S. Hmm. Uh, down below that, uh, the uh, storms by Thursday are shifting way to the south and east. Now, within that trough, it looks like Thursday will be kind of a cloudy day. There might be a little light rain or drizzle. And underneath that thing, it should be a pretty cool day. Uh, you know that the model's done a horrible job handling thermal values this weekend. And I don't know if it's got a grasp on this thing at all. We might have a hard time getting out of the 50s on Thursday, much like yesterday. And there's Friday, the trough axis is on by. Still, there is wraparound moisture. We're not going to go below freezing as long as we have that moisture. Friday looks cloudy and chilly and maybe some light rain. And again, highs maybe only in the 50s. But the good news, uh, Saturday looks good. Uh, the thickness values are coming up. And if this is right, we go in the 70s and we are dry. And Sunday, we could be pushing 80 with a pretty decent amount of sunshine, probably partly sunny. So if your weekend event got washed out this past weekend, a good chance conditions will be much better and warmer this coming weekend. And a week from today, moisture starts to return in some hint of showers. All right, uh, we'll check the end of the forecast, April 12th. And again, in this active pattern, doesn't make a lot of sense to worry too much about weather beyond five or six days because it is so challenging to time out these specific waves. But the general idea, we've still got a pretty fast flow across much of the country. Uh, the deep surface low is north of the Great Lakes with some evidence of a trailing front. But again, uh, don't worry too much about specifics out there in the long range. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.